This is Doug Coyle of DJ Coyle Rugby. I'm here with uh, Larry Chester. Yes, sir. LC, uh, who's associate head coach of Kutztown University men's rugby program. He's also defensive coach and strength and conditioning coach. Uh, could you tell us something about uh, how you scout recruits or how recruits uh, interact with you in choosing Kutztown as a program? Absolutely. Uh, there's pretty much three tiers. Um, I would say the weakest tier uh, would be either a parent and or a player contacting us um, via email or a phone call. You get a lot of those. Um, I would say the second tier will be uh, us reaching out to the coaches from different schools. For example, we have some players from North Carolina, from Charlotte Catholic, very prominent school. So to extend out to them and ask them questions about players that they have potentially. And then the third and final tier will be going to games and tournaments and actually scouting um, certain talent out and about. Doc and I travel a lot to do that. Uh, you also do a lot with that with your current players. I uh, see you in many tournaments. Absolutely. Um, uh, once you've identified a player, uh, do you uh, set guidelines for them for training prior to arriving here at Kutztown? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one of the things that we do once we identify a player, I mean, part of the process in identifying, we have this checkbox, we have this list of things that we want covered, um, GPA. Uh, we want people that's over 3.0. Obviously, we've taken athletes less. Um, SATs and ACTs is extremely important. We don't want to waste time if they can't get into the school. Um, and then last and final, we ask for a video, you know, so that we can evaluate their talents. Um, once we do that, we try to get them on campus so that they can see the campus, and we also can be around them to see what their character's like. Um, this is a culture here, and one of the things that we look for is players that can fit into that culture, not just good rugby players. It's part of it, but it's not all of it. Could you describe a little bit about that culture? Um, the culture is blue collar. Uh, you have to you have to be a very intelligent, hardworking young man to survive into this program. I mean, Doc's been here 30 years. Um, he's established that culture. Um, we all just do our part at maintaining that culture. So the individuals that we go out and look for, um, we vet them pretty much. I mean, we don't just go and get somebody that can score a lot of tries. They have to be able to fit in here. Um, we strongly say rugby is the vehicle to get you here, but hard work is going to retain you. Uh, could you uh, take us through some of your uh, training process, uh, uh, kind of preseason, during the season? Mm -hmm. Our guys do 12 months a year. Um, it, they're either home over the summer and they're playing with their respected club. Um, but we give them via email and, and keep in contact with them a summer program, um, a 12 week program per se. Once they get back here, you know, we don't go through the whole testing process because we trust that our players do exactly what we want them to do. So we get started right away. Um, we're, we're in a weight room probably about two to three you know, hours a week. Um, but our guys also do things on their own. You know, we don't waste a lot of time on arm curls and, and calf raises. Um, they do that at the rec center on their own, but we do come together and do our special things that we do. How, uh, what were some of the reasons you uh, uh, started to incorporate seven, spring sevens? You eliminated uh, 15s recently, and I have a feeling it's strengthening your program. Um, the, the story is very actually very specific. Uh, one year we had, a few years ago, I think it was 2010, um, one of our captains at the time approached us and said that they're almost tired of leaving their brothers. Um, because if you remember, it was down in Texas where the Sevens Championship was, right. but we were in 15 season. So you have a guy at second row with his brother, and then we leave and go to the tournament and give him somebody else. Um, so they approached us and said, we don't want to do it anymore. Doc and I agreed. Um, and then further looking at it, it improves the skills of our big guys. Um, we have three sides. We have a KU1, a KU2, and a KU3. Um, and everybody in our program plays sevens in the spring. We don't play any 15s games. So it improves the talent level, improves their skill set. Oh, thank you for sharing about your program. I wish you every success. Appreciate it.